And today with Mr. Rexu, let's talk about knives. This is the Fox Knives Colonel Motion Delta Spec Ops knife. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, as you can see, this is a 50-50 blade with their serrations on it. Now, here's the crest of the ninth. I've owed this knife for quite a while. And one of the reasons why I got it is because I was in 82nd Airborne Division and I saw this beautiful knife and it comes from a heritage of Italian paratroopers. In fact, this is a titanium belt clip that I got aftermarket and I had laser engraved my unit's crest, which it's, it's been deactivated back in my day. And it's the 3rd Battalion, 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment. The 3rd third, the third still exists, but as 3rd Brigade, Brigade Combat Team. Goes to show the difference of the different eras. Now you will see the Emerson Wave. Of course, when Mr. Emerson designed that, in collaboration with, I do believe, the Navy SEALs. Could be wrong. I'll do another one on that. This is supposed to catch... A blade so you're knife fighting in the woods or on the beach and the guy knife will hit that and you can capture it and then you could stab him or maybe uh, you know slice a bagel for him <laughs> so here we go this is the De Delta spec ops knife in collaboration with the 9th regiment Colonel motion made in Maniago Italy I could tell you what one of these days I'm going to go to Maniago, Italy, and I'm going to go to that town, and I'm just going to have a great time talking to all the knife makers, and they won't know anything I say because I don't speak Italian. But it'll, it'll be a great time. Um, please note the window breaker. Of course, I did my own lanyard, and this is a linear lock. Okay, now I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna show you how it goes into the pocket and how it comes out with the Emerson Wave. I'll be right back. So you're like, well, Mr. Rex, you know, that's really great um, with that Emerson Wave. Well, let's just say that I, I, I don't want to carry it in my pocket. They have a sheath for it. Multiple mounting points. Now, this could go into a Molly system very, very easily. Let's go ahead and do this. And this. That opens up like that. And like that. Then it would go onto a belt or into your rig or whatever gear you so desire now we open this up and there you go you have a fixed blade knife so instead of taking all the time to pull it out well gee whiz it's right there and ready to go into action but you're like mr rexu what happens if that's just too big of a knife for me that's okay they have a smaller one. It's just like the bigger one. It's just done in black. Window breaker. This one has my Spartan bead. Has the same Emerson wave. I have pictures of this up close for you also. There's the ninth regiment. And there's that. Now, let's talk about the specifics. On the bigger knife, the overall length is 9.75 inches with a blade length of 4.25. The blade thickness is 0 0.20. Blade material is Bowler N690. 690, you can say 690. Hardness is 58 to 60, Rockwell. It's a spear point with serrations. The finish is black. And the handle length is 5.50 inches. 
Now, the other one. Oh, and just to let you know, uh, let me see here real quick. There we go. On Blade HQ, it was going for $219.95, but originally MSR paying at $373.95, but it is out of stock. I'm really sorry about that. Now, the smaller knife, the black one, was going for $249.95 with an MSRP of $373.95. And it is also out of stock. I believe you can go to Lamnia. I'll put a, put a link up there. I do believe you could get, still get the black one. Now, in my search to have knives that um, I like to customize knives, as you know, I asked, I actually called, um, contacted Fox and I said, hey, can you make them without the serration? And they said something in Italian that basically says no. Okay, <laughs> there you go. And now let's go into the history. My apologies, I forgot to add the smaller version coming out of the pocket, so here it is. Also, please note the thumb stud and the very pronounced Emerson Wave. The 9th Parachute Assault Regiment. Colonel Motion. Now, that's apparently not a person, but a place. The Motion Pass Okay, is a special forces unit of the current Italian Army in part due to its distinguished history, but also due to the arduous training which members must undertake. Training takes no less than two years for long-term members and five months for short-term volunteers with one to two years total military service. Roughly equivalent in number, tasking and quality to the world-famous British Army SAS, the 9th, or Li Il Nono, as it, was, as it is known in military circles, is capable of operating in all environments. The roughly 150 members train in mountainous, wooded desert and amphibious terrain. The ninth speciality is operating independently of outside support and far from friendly lines. From 2004, Colonel, Colonel Motion is integrated inside the Commando Force Speciality Interama, COFS, Italy's Special Operations Command. I'm gonna post a picture of their crest. So, coming down into tradition, uh, paratroopers, we have this beautiful sampling of a knife from a beautiful maker, Fox. I love Fox knives. I, uh, I own a couple more. I'll show them to you here sometime in the future. But here you go. We have a folding fixed blade. So, I mean, just look at that. Look at the options. The G10 is grippy. It's got finger grooves, wonderful finger grooves for front and back. It's got jimping. This knife is not gonna go anywhere. When you have it in your hand, that's where it's gonna be. And I really do enjoy the fact that both of them come with the window breaker. And that is right and left hand, tip up only carry. So, this is where I ask you to please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate the time that you spend with me, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. And as always, do have a knife day. So here's the regimental crest for the ninth. Close-up pictures of the large and small knife with sheath. And I am also going to be adding something here at the end. I went over and got one of my Emersons. And I'm going to show you the similarities and the difference in the two knives. Just to give you a better appreciation of an Emerson versus the Fox Knives uh, knife, the Colonel Motion. Yes, what we have here is... The Emerson Super CQC7 that I had tricked out with peel ply G10 scale. So now, when I bought this knife, it was because I was inspired by this knife. I went out to do my color matching, to do the scales, 
and especially this is not something you're going to find on a, a normal Emerson is the fact that I have a backspacer that has a window breaker on it. Now this was directly inspired by this knife. So I'm going to open up this knife and see it in comparison to my Super CQC7. So let's go ahead and put them up. Well, it's kind of hard to say. Well, what I want you to appreciate, and I also have some still pictures, is the difference in size between the waves. And uh, I wouldn't mind seeing the waves a little bit bigger. This wave does its job on the Emerson. But I have to say that uh, where this is a nice day at the beach, this is a... <laughs> that's something you can ride a surfboard on. Okay, so I just want to add this to the video. Thank you so much, and have a nice day.